गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द नेक्स्ट पेपर फॉर युअर सिलेबस ऑफ बी ए थर्ड स्पेशल इंग्लिश द नेम ऑफ द पेपर इंग्लिश नॉवेल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट द लिटररी क्रिटिसिजम इंट्रोडक्शन टू लिटररी क्रिटिसिजम पेपर एंड फोर मॉड्यूल फॉर युअर सेमेस्टर सिक्स एंड नाव वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न नेक्स्ट पेपर that is english novel for your semester 6 in it you are going to learn four general topics and two novels four general topics that is historical novel psychological novel satirical novel and the two books that is animal farm and the guide so the first part is module 5 historical novel you must know what is the meaning of historical novel in the previous lectures of uh, english novel in the last semester for the semester 5 you learned that rise of the novel development of the novel and now you are going to learn the particular types of the novel here the first type is introduced for you is historical novel According to a Encyclopedia Britannica, a historical novel is a novel that has an its setting, a usually significant period of history. It attempts to convey the spirit, manners, and social conditions of a past, past age, with realistic details and fidelity, which is in some cases only apparent fidelity to historical fact. the work may deal with actual historical characters or it may contain a mixture of fictional and historical characters so according to encyclopedia britannica historical novel as its setting a usually significant period of history for example we can say that the period of french revolution the period of in the future the period of pandemic will be treated as a historical period from the history so he, those happenings in that time is reflected in that historical novels it conveys the spirits manners and social conditions of the past age with realistic details what is the development of historical novel See many regards Sir Walter Scott as the first to write historical novels. Gorgi Lucas in his historical novel argues that Scott is the first fiction writer who saw history not just as a convenient frame in which to stage a contemporary narrative, but rather as a distinct social and cultural setting. His his novels of Scottish history such as Waverley. and rob roy focuses upon a middle character who sits at the intersection of various social groups in order to explore the development of society through conflict through conflict he is ivan who gains credit for renewing interest in the middle ages see in the walter scott's novel ivan who which is related to the middle ages and reflected the scottish history in his novel waverley and rob roy in 1814 and in 1817 victor hugo's the hunchback of notre dame published in 1831 furnishes another 19th century example of the romantic historical novel as does leone great tolstoy's war and peace in the united states james fenimore cooper was a prominent author of historical novels in french literature the most prominent inheritor of scott's style of the historical novel was henri de balzac if you see this is the development of historical novel and all the novels reflect the history of that particular period the historical characters and characters from the history 
historical fiction it in contemporary western literature dates back to the early 19th century sir walter scott henry de balzac james fenimore cooper and leo tolstoy were among the first novelists to explore the historical setting as its own concept for a book if you see leo tolstoy's war and peace you will understand how it reflects the history of french revolution and the establishment of the russian continent by the early 20th century the genre was thriving in the united states with a focus on war stories like kenneth roberts orindel about the american revolution or william faulkner's absalom absalom about the american civil war see major historical novels reflects the war situations at the war happened in the past so it reflects the history and that's why it is called the historical novels definition if we think about the definition of the historical novel we come to understand how it is begun into the 19th century with sir walter scott not only takes its setting and some characters and events from history but make the historical events and issues crucial for the central characters and narratives some of the greatest historical novels also use the protagonist and actions to reveal with the author regards at the deep forces impel the historical process here we can understand how the its setting and the characters are the most important part three parts are important in historical novel that is setting from the historical period characters from the history and the events related to that particular history so here we can understand how the, these three parts are important in historical novel examples are given here walter scott's ivan ho set in the period of norman domination of saxons at the time of richard i dickens tale of two cities set in paris and london during the french revolution and tolstoy's war and peace set in the napoleon's invasion of russia so he, those novels is setting from the history characters from the history and events from the history is given in that particular novels that why those novels are called as a historical novels what is the definition from wikipedia historical fiction is a literary genre in which the plot takes place in setting located in the past although the term is commonly used as a synonym for the historical novel it can also be applied to other types of narrative including theater opera cinema and television as well as video games and graphic novels which are related to the history an essential element of historical fiction set in the past and pays attention to the manners social conditions and other details of the depicted period so that is the essential element the set in the past and second pays attention to the manners social conditions and other details of the depicted historical period authors also frequently choose to explore notable historical figures in this setting allow readers to better understand how these individuals might have responded to their environments subgenres such as alternate history and historical fantasy insert speculative or historical elements into a novel so here we can understand most important part in historical fiction is set in the past and pays attention to the manners and social conditions at that time of the historical period setting the first part the first most important element that is the setting the setting is the most important part of a historical fiction novel it should take place during an authentic period in history and be set in a real historical place 
For example, New York City during the Great Depression of Paris, France during World War II, which is depicted in the novel War and Peace of Tolstoy. Next part, plot. Plot is, is in a historical fiction. Novel is a combination of a real events and fictional events. You can invent characters, cities and events, but they still must make sense the time period. For example, a novel set in London, England in 1666 would benefit from incorporating the Great Fire of London, a major turning point in the city's history. See, if you see the Great Fire of London, which is a major historical event, most of the novels reflected that Great Fire of London. That's why those novels called as a historical novel. So the plot and reflected historical event is important part in the historical novel. Next part characters. Characters can be real, fictional or both. But they should all look, speak and act in ways that accurately reflect the era. See, the characters from the history also reflected the period with their drapery, with their manners with their social conditions, with the, their economical conditions and at the same time they are reflected the particular character. If the major character, if, if we can see the character of a king, we can understand how the particular character is shown in that particular history, a historical novel. If you are writing a book about Mary, Mary Todor, it shouldn't disregard or reinvent her family history as the daughter of Henry VIII and sister to Elizabeth I, who both played an important role in Mary's region. So, we can understand how those characters are presented as a historical characters. Next part, dialogues. Dialogues must be authentic to the time period. See, the language of that time is used through that characters and should reflect the status of the characters who are speaking. For example, British soldiers in the Revolutionary War wouldn't use Western slang of today. So, at that time, what kind of language, what kind of dialect is used is copied in the same manner in the historical novels and it is pronounced by the characters in the same manner. If you see the historical movies, you can real, uh, immediately understand how they accepted manners and social conditions at that time of the historical period. Next is description. Description of the characters, events and places are very vivid. That is, description is very in detail. That is, characters description, events description and the places description. Any historic event that may be unfamiliar to the reader to, is explained by the writer. So, it is very uh, det in detailed manner. So, we can understand here the plot, setting, dialogue, description and characters are the most important part and most important elements in the historical fiction. Those descriptions should be related to the historical novel. Those characters should be related to the historical period. So, in that way, you can understand what is the definition of historical novel, what are the, what kind of development is it of the historical novel and third part, what are the major characteristics or the elements of the historical fiction. So, this is about the English novel first uh, module 5th of your semester 6 that is historical novel in next lecture we will learn about the satirical novel the next part is also conflict that is conflict the problems the characters encounter should encounter should be conflict people of that era would encounter for example your book might describe the hesitation and fear german soldier feels as he is to the stern front where he knows he is likely to die. The conflict. See, conflict is also important 
if the war situations from the history is reflected in that historical novel the conflict must be shown in that historical novel that's why this is also the one of the important characteristics or the elements of the historical novel these are the elements of the historical novel see first plot second setting third character dialogue description and the sixth part is conflict so in the next lecture we will learn about the satirical novel till then stay home stay safe